Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well today. Um, got a fantastic video for you today. One that I've been wanting to make and have just now found a source for, okay? So what this video is gonna be on is different beginner options, right? I get this question all the time. Mandy, what's a good beginner dulcimer? Um, and let me say this too, you're not limited by any of these to being a beginner. So, you know, that question's a little bit, um, it's basically for someone just starting out. They're not sure maybe if uh, they're gonna continue to play dulcimer for a long time, not sure if they're gonna love it, right? So that's what I'm talking about here when I say beginner. And I'll give you my specific set of circumstances too. I have to have a small VSL. The style of play that I want to do, uh, I want to play across all strings and I want to play chords uh, and melody, right? So I don't want to just play on the melody line. If I'm going to only play on the melody line, some of these things that are very crucial to me might not be, um, you know, as important to you, okay? And what I'm talking about there is VSL. And if you don't know what that is, I've got a wonderful video on that talking all about it that you might want to view before you look at this. And I will put it in the link uh, down below in the description for you. Okay, so if you're not sure about VSL or uh, what I'm talking about there, make sure you watch that because that will give you all the information you need to know. Okay, so my qualifications for a beginner dulcimer is it's got to have a good quality fretboard. The frets have to be done right, okay? That's my number one thing. The frets have to be done right. It has to be within my VSL length that I like, and uh, it just needs to sound good, right? Uh, so that's what I've got, and it's got to be inexpensive. That's the, you know, those are the big three, right? The fretboard has to be done right, it's got to be inexpensive and it's got to sound good. Everything on this table is inexpensive. This is under $200. This is under $100. And these are all under $100. Okay. So I'm going to talk about these all here for you. And this on the end, I did not build. You can purchase this right now at a very cheap price and it's an all wood dulcimer. I can't wait to tell you about that, okay? But first let me start right here. These are wonderful, okay? And these are all, if you can't tell already, the sound bodies, the bodies of the instruments are all cardboard, okay? It's all corrugated cardboard and believe it or not, that makes a really good sound box, uh, the cardboard. So I really, really recommend these things, okay? Now, um, this first option is a folk craft and you have to build it. I have a full uh, set of videos on the folk craft YouTube channel taking you step by step uh, how to build it also. Now, it also comes with a good set of instructions, so it's not difficult to build. You can build it from the instructions or you can watch my video. And I do understand now that Folkcraft will make this in other VSLs. The regular kit comes in a 27, but if you want a 26 or a 25, you can request that, okay? You can also request that the frets be put in for you. Now, I believe they do charge you a little bit more for that, naturally, for putting in those frets, uh, but you can get it, okay? So that is an excellent, excellent option. When I built this kit out, I wanted to learn and try the one and a half fret. And I had never tried that before at that, at that point in time. So I got this kit and I put in a one and a half fret when I was putting in the other frets. And that taught me a lot and I love it, okay? So the Folkcraft cardboard dulcimer. These next two are Backyard Instruments cardboard dulcimers. This is the standard, it's cheaper than the hourglass. Now the standard, this one is in chromatic, uh, but I have lots more of these things. And this is what I went with for my kids dulcimer class. We built these, decorated them, and uh, with a standard fretboard, not a chromatic, but that's what I use with my kids. They're great, they hold up well. Uh, all of these cardboard instruments, I cannot tell you how great these are, okay? Um, I love them, 
right? And again, here I am. This is a chromatic. So I'm learning chromatic. And, um, you know, it's a good option, especially, you know, maybe you're not a beginner, but you want to try something you haven't tried before. You want to try that one and a half and you can put it in. Or you can have, um, you can purchase this one, uh, you know, where you build the kit out if you want or not. Uh, this one here. And again, and, and let me say this too. I will put links for all of this stuff down below so you can check it out yourself. Um, again, uh, this is from Backyard Instruments. He's selling these on Etsy. Um, and these cost a little more. They're more they're more in line with the price of the folk craft model because they're the hourglass body but they're both the same you know they're both the uh, corrugated cardboard they sound really good um they sound really good and they're fretted properly you know that's that's one of my big things it's got to be fretted properly and um before i go any further let me caveat something as well and this goes with any new instrument you buy okay you're going to want to tailor it to yourself. Um, and what I mean by that is the action height. Every single one of these, even if you purchase it already made, I purchased this from um, Backyard Instruments already made. So I didn't even put the kit together. I just purchased it already made because I wanted a quick chromatic to get started on. The first thing you have to do is lower the action height. All of these things always have high action height. Every dulcimer I've ever had, <laughs> uh, no matter how much it costs, I always want to lower the action height, especially at the back. Um, and that's just for my personal preference. But I just want to caveat it with that. You're going to have to do a little bit of work. And it's not hard. I have a video telling you how to do all that. It's not hard. You can... Um, lower these actions pretty easily okay so these are cardboard options i recommend these okay they're inexpensive especially if you have um as a second dulcimer these are great to take with you camping or out you know to play out in the park or whatever you might not know what the weather's going to be like i love these things and i swear by them they're really good okay now our next option is to build one yourself and this is my uh, box dulcimer that my husband and I built. And I have plans for this that are free to, to show you how to make it. It's under $100 to build. And it's very nice. And it's loud. This, this I kind of call my church dulcimer. It is church ready. And it really has a lot of sustain too. Um, but I have plans on this. And what you do is you purchase a, a ready-made fretboard. And you just build the box okay and this is under under a hundred dollars I still believe you can do it all for under a hundred dollars even with today's prices um, but I'll put that link down below also okay so that that's getting a little a little more up there right now the next thing I, I'm just so so excited to tell you about this this is made in the United States and it's made by Bill Berg okay and what this is this is his student model dulcimer, okay? And this has a 26 inch VSL. I'll just quickly run through all the VSLs here. We've got, before I go there, we've got a 27 here, um, but they will make you a shorter one. Right here, we've got a 25 and a half. It's close to 26. And that's the same with this, close to 26 and he's not going to build as far as i know he's not going to build you another size that's just the size that you get and that's the same one here this is the same fretboard here i've just stained it um okay and then this right here this berg student model again i'll put the link down below so you can grab one of these um this is 26 so um it's still a lot smaller than what they call standard and um, I can use a 26 it's pushing it for me I prefer a 25 but I can use a 26 uh, so I'm gonna so so recommend this to you right this comes to you built and um, it's all wood now first let me say this I got the five string model which cost $20 more than the four string model 
Um, so the four string model costs $140 plus shipping, which is out of this world and expensive, you guys. This is under $200 to your door for an all wood dulcimer. All right, the sides and the back are made of poplar, and he's even got a another wood there. So the side and the back are made of poplar, and the top here is cedar, and it's quite a thick top, but the top is cedar, um, and I just can't recommend this to you enough. This is a, an all wood dulcimer for under 200 bucks to your door. Um, the frets are nice. Now again, I didn't, I didn't change the nut at all. I liked the action height at the nut, but the bridge, which as I said before, is very common on everything you get, even my fancy dulcimers that are very expensive, I have to lower the action. That's the, that's the way I like it. They come kind of high, and that's, that's because uh, people play differently, and they're just going to set it at a, at a base level, right? And some people play really, really hard when they play, and the string vibrates a lot more, so it needs to be higher. So anyway, I've got videos on how to lower that if you want. But uh, what I'm gonna do to this <coughs> is the same thing that I've done on my box dulcimer that I built over here. You can see right there is I've added strap buttons, and that's a very cheap thing to do. All wood dulcimers have a heel cap and a top cap. All of them do. They have a cap of wood, right? So you're not gonna you're not gonna mess anything up by doing this. But what you do is you just pre-drill your hole so that you don't split any of your wood. It's real simple. It takes less than five minutes to put on strap buttons. Then you can attach a strap and and, and play this. But I, I just cannot tell you how excited I was to find this and uh, to get to. To tell you guys about this now I'm not receiving anything for doing this from anyone um, this is just something I've wanted to do I've wanted to find cheap inexpensive quality things that I can tell you about that you can go, go out and get okay um, the the one thing that I could possibly get out of this if you purchase from Folkcraft I have an affiliate link and if you use that affiliate link it doesn't cost you anything but it gives me a little kickback um, and that's if you were, were to go through Folkcraft for anything uh, but all this other stuff that you know I, I just want I want you guys to be able to find instruments okay so this right here I just I really cannot <laughs> tell you how excited I was to find this um, and he builds hourglass ones also. He also makes hammer dulcimers. But um, yeah, this right here. I'll have videos on this for sound samples and things. It's got good sound. Um, and I've got it set up as a four string right now so that I can do those beginner videos. It's got good sustain. Um, and yeah, I just, I, I'm just thrilled to be able to tell you about it. Um, so yeah, anyway, I can't tell you how many times I get that question about, hey, have you tried X dulcimer? And they give me a name. And, you know, I can't go out and buy everybody's dulcimer. I wish I could, but, you know, I, I just don't <laughs> have that capability. But what I'm always on the lookout for is something that's good, yet inexpensive for you guys to start out with. And... That's the one I'm going with right there because you're not going to find something cheaper than that. That's all wood uh, with that kind of quality. I just, I can't see it. Um, so, so yeah, I hope that if you're a beginner, someone who's not played before, maybe you play other instruments and you want to try it out. Or maybe your spouse, maybe you want to get your spouse into playing something. Uh, the mountain dulcimer is one of the easiest instruments to learn to play. And you might have heard that before. Um, I don't necessarily play it in that style 99% of the time. But 
uh, I do have tons of lessons on that old style of, of play. Uh, and when I say old, it's just traditional, the traditional style of play uh, where you are only fretting one string. You're fretting the melody line and the other two strings are just ringing out all the time. They're droning. Um, and that's the easiest uh, way to play because it's just up and down that one string for your melody of your song. And it's really great. Um, I've got a bunch of lessons on that, uh, but I also want to play that chord melody style that I was telling you about and play my melody on all three strings as well. So I think I've given you all the information here. Let me see what else I can think of. It's really fun to do this right here, to get into this church or box dulcimer. Um, I've had a bunch of people build this. I did this uh, a year ago or two now. I can't even remember. You know, with what has happened over the last couple of years and even in my life, I, I, I can't even remember how long it's been. But I've had a bunch, a bunch of people build out this off of my plans and uh, send me their pictures and they love it, okay? And I've had several people build more than one of them and send it to me going, wow, yeah, I love it. Um, so yeah, I hope uh, you'll consider this if you uh, like doing little projects. But for those of you who want to start out with that all wood, like you don't want to go the cardboard route, and I do, I, I tell you, these cardboard ones are good, but uh, if you don't want to go that route and you want to start with an all wood, go right there. And that's Bill Berg. Uh, dulcimers I'll put the link down below directly to it um, my main thing about this whole thing is get a dulcimer okay get one and get to work learning it you can do it I know you can and uh, remember what I said though remember how I said you're gonna have to uh, make it you're going to have to lower the action. I, I mean, I'm just going to go out and say on any of these you ever get, you're going to have to lower the action. So uh, I'm going to also put that video below uh, in the description, the lowering the action video, how to do that. Uh, so that if you've watched this and got one of these, you can just come back to this video and find that video. Okay. Because um, you don't need to be afraid of it uh, and you can do it. So, all right, I hope you've got something out of this video. I hope you're going to go buy one of these dulcimers and get started if you haven't already. Or if you're going to uh, want to work on your next dulcimer uh, and have another one, maybe you want to try the one and a half fret. Maybe you want to try chromatic. Who knows? Um, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope you've got something out of it. And before I go, I always want to remind you, that Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. Bye-bye, y'all.